A message to Virginia families from Governor Northam today as parents wait anxiously for the COVID vaccine for kids younger than 12. He says the state is already making plans to administer doses in schools once the federal government gives the green light. And this comes as most students in our area have returned to in-person learning. Alex Littlehales reports on how that's impacted COVID cases in our area. Yeah, for her, it was really frustrating. Frustrating to go from a regular classroom back to a virtual one to go back this year and take AP chemistry so she could get a better handle on it before college um, and then to get kicked off again and go back to home. She was really worried. That's the reality Connie Manalili's daughter faced at the beginning of the school year after having to quarantine from COVID-19. Another reminder that as far as we've come in the pandemic, there is still more ahead. Back to school, you bring a lot of people together and you have as many um, safety precautions in place to prevent transmission as you can. Dr. Brandy Darby says COVID cases at the start of the school year shouldn't come as a surprise. According to the Virginia Department of Health, there have been more than 120 COVID outbreaks across the state since the week of August 15th in K through 12 settings. 28 of those have come in the eastern region. But even though as few as two cases can be considered an outbreak, it's hard to determine the number of people impacted in an outbreak. You know, they don't necessarily show the size of the outbreak, whether that's five people or 500 people. Data from the Virginia Department of Health shows a total of 558 outbreaks since they started tracking this information. And while a surge in these outbreaks started towards the end of August and early September, they've recently gone back down. It's why Dr. Darby says other COVID safe protocols like like masks and social distancing are important as children under the age of 12 still aren't approved for the vaccine. State investigates COVID outbreaks through three different ways, contact tracing, employer records, but also public tips. In Fort Smith, I'm Alex Loyals, 13 News Now. More than 3,000 COVID cases have been linked to outbreaks among school settings in Virginia. New